Hi, my name is Jameson Blanford, Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco Systems. Today I'm here to talk to you about Cisco's new application visibility and control on the Cisco Wireless LAN controller. Today we're going to showcase that visibility through a few different user applications and see how they show up and become recognized on the Wireless LAN controller. So let's start with those user applications. We're going to go ahead and open up YouTube and browse around to a different video. Let's take a look at the Cricket World Cup, that happens to be one of my favorite matches. Then we'll move on to something more interesting. Let's look at Google Earth, perhaps take a tour of some places I'd like to visit, uh, notably, you know, Eiffel Tower or somewhere else in Paris. And then finally, after Google Earth, now let's take a, a look at a real-time application, Skype, and we're going to have a real live call go on and see how the AVC can recognize that. So I'm going to have a call coming in. Yep, here it is to my iPad. Go ahead and accept that. And then you can see me live on the screen right there moving all around. And now we're going to go over to our monitor page. And we're going to take a look at the AVC statistics. We're going to browse down and drill down to the wireless LAN. Take a look at and see. You can see YouTube on there. You can see Google Earth. You can see our Skype call on there is active. And all the other various applications on your network, like NetBIOS, so this really showcases the visibility aspect of Cisco's AVC. To demonstrate the control portion of Cisco's AVC, we're going to showcase dropping a live Microsoft link call while it's in progress. Now to start off, we're going to go ahead and establish that Microsoft link call. So I'm going to start my video call to the PC I have over here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that video is up and running and that we can see the other person's video and make that full screen. So now that our link call is active, let's go into the controller and check out how AVC is able to recognize that application. There we go. It's right in there as Microsoft Live Meeting. Now we can take that Live Meeting application and actually write a rule to drop it. So we're going to go ahead and add in that rule with an action of drop. And then as we apply that rule, it's actually going to go ahead and drop that flow and cut that video off in midstream. Now that that video is cut off, let's add in the opposite rule. Go ahead and add a permit in and then showcase that video coming alive as that rule of drop is removed and placed back into permit. So there we go. Our video should be back up and running and everything should be good to go. So that's just one example of the control you get with Cisco's AVC. To showcase one more example of the control that Cisco's AVC provides you, we're going to go ahead and use Citrix and BitTorrent to showcase application remarking and how quality of service can deliver a better experience for VDI and other video ses sessions. Now, we're going to go ahead and start that Citrix application, which has a video running in that remote desktop. Now, we also have BitTorrent, which is going to download uh, an ISO file and very actively try to grab that traffic. And you can see probably on that screen, there's some contention between those two applications. And the video file is actually a bit choppy. Now let's go ahead into the Cisco Wireless LAN controller and start remarking applications based on some DSCP values. So we're going to take BitTorrent, go ahead and remark that down to level 10. So that's going to be into the background queue. Then we're going to take Citrix, and we're going to remark that with a DSCP value of 34. Now what this is going to do is take the Citrix traffic and the background traffic from BitTorrent and prioritize those appropriately so that the video comes out first and then the BitTorrent gets whatever is left over. Now if we look back to our application, you can see that the Citrix video is nice and smooth, not choppy anymore, and that our BitTorrent traffic is still running, but at reduced speeds because it's getting whatever is left over of the wireless medium. Thank you for watching this Cisco ABC demonstration.